Jeff Platt here for PokerNews.com, 888 shining the spotlight on the beautiful game that is No Limit, deuce to seven single draw. Here chatting about that great game with not only 2004 World Series of Poker Main Event Champion, but also a final tableist of this event at the 5K price point. Long intro for Fossil Man, for Greg Raymer. Greg, what do you enjoy the most about this game? Uh, really, this is poker in its purest sense. Yeah. Because so many of the situations in this game just come down to is he bluffing or is he not? And you know, in Hold'em it gets a lot more complicated. You know, you get a really wet board where straights or flushes are possible, the board is paired. You know, so you make a flush and you're like, I don't think the guy's bluffing, but maybe he thinks his straight is good. <laughs> maybe he has three of a kind on the paired board, he thinks that's good. So it's not like you can just look at him and say, well, I don't think he's bluffing, so my flush is no good. Um, in this game, lots of times you get things like one player draws one card, one player stands pat. If the guy who drew one bets, most pat hands are like a jack low or a ten low. Usually people who draw one card are drawing to better. So when that guy bets into the pat hand, the question is just did he make his hand, in which case he has me beat, or is he bluffing, in which case my jack or ten low is good. And that is a very common decision in this game. We don't get to see many tournaments like this throughout the course of the year. So if you had to throw out some advice to somebody who, who wants to jump in the mix in a tournament like this, what would that advice be? Well, try to find some chances to practice. I don't even know where you can go to play it online anymore. Yeah. Um, you know, again, this wasn't a common game anywhere ever in the online world. And I have no idea who offers it now, if they ever do. Um, but that's your best bet. Unfortunately, this game doesn't get played like as a low limit game really ever. And not that it gets played very often as a high stakes game either. I mean, if you want to jump into like the 4,000, 8,000 mix game, that's usually part of the, it's usually part of the mix. Good luck. You know, but if you got the million dollar buy-in, I'd say, uh, you know, if you don't know how to play this game and you're going to join that game, like find someone like me and get private lessons first. <laughs> what does your schedule look like throughout this summer? You firing all? Well, I mean, I'll plan to be here the whole summer for all six weeks, and I'll be playing every day almost certainly. And uh, I like these kinds of tournaments more. Like some people were questioning me because the first couple of days they were like, why aren't you playing this event or that event right. for a bracelet? And I'm like, because I'm in a single draw tournament at the Golden Nugget, and I'm at a triple oh, wow. draw tournament at Planet Hollywood. And I'm like, I like these games. And the rest of the year, you know, you go to a tournament series, and frequently it's just different flavors of Hold'em, different sure. different price points, maybe maybe one know, or two PLOs, maybe an Omaha or PLO, yeah. but it's usually like, oh, is this a big blind ante or not? Is this a bounty tournament or not? Is it a turbo or not? But it's all no limit Hold'em, and so it's just fun to play these other games finally. And finally, Greg, this series gives you an opportunity to to interact with, with fans who are, who are always there in the hallway waiting for you when you go on break. What has that been like for you over this last decade plus? Oh, it's always nice. I mean, the number of fans who are, you know, being rude or anything is a tiny, you know, 1% of 1%. Sure. So, you know, they don't really count. Everyone else is just so nice and friendly. A lady just came up and was thanking me for how much she learned at a poker seminar I taught for the wow. WSOP Academy 10 years ago or something and uh, you know like oh I learned so much from you and it helped me so much and thank you and I really appreciate it and so that's the kind of thing you get from the fans is usually just nice upbeat positive stuff and so especially if you're like going on break and you just took a big beat which isn't yeah. the case on this time for me but okay, good. <laughs> but I mean you know when you like just got knocked out or you took a beat and then the fan is just like oh it's so great can I have a picture yeah. I want to thank you you've done so you know you've helped my game and it's like okay I feel a lot better about myself right now and so that's real nice. I, I like it. And, I, and, and we love that. Greg, thanks yeah. for the time. Good luck this summer, all right? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You're welcome. That is Greg Raymer. I'm Jeff Platt for PokerNews.com.